It's already November 1st, and there's so much to do over these next two months. Will you be ready? Now, we're not talking about shopping for, thanks shopping for Thanksgiving or buying presents for the holidays. We're talking about taxes, because even though it's getting late in the year, there are still some things you can do to lower your 2015 taxes. Jim Lineweaver is here with some tax, tip, tax tips to tackle before time runs out. Jim is a certified financial planner professional with the Lineweaver Financial Group. So welcome back to the show. Good to see you. Now these tips may not be trendy, but they're tried and true. They are. <laughs> <laughs> and some we should do today, but some of the things we should delay. So yeah, tell us. Exactly. Well, I feel like Dr. Seuss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> those people that have some flexibility as far as when they take some of their pay or their bonuses, or if you own your own business, you get some flexibility there. So if you find that you're having a really good year, you could try to push some of that into the next year. But also, if for whatever reason you had a bad year, you don't have as much income, try to accelerate whatever you can into this year and take advantage of the tax brackets because remember the more you make the more you have to pay mm -hmm. and we'd like to have you keep every dollar that you possibly can pay as little as possible right yes. <laughs> so how can we save with your with the itemized deductions we might be able to take this year well this is where a lot of people in retirement can't itemize their deductions anymore and there's some huge opportunities Opportunities that a lot of people don't realize. So what you can do is you can pool your deductions into one year. So let's say you ran into a lot of medical expenses this year and you're already to the point of, that you're getting deductions for that. Well then maybe get in whatever else you can by the <laughs> end of the year. What also happens is your property taxes that you would normally pay in January bring them into this year. You could also look at all your charitable contributions that you might make in the first or second quarter of 2016 bring those into this year. So before you know it, you can actually add up a lot of these deductions, itemize this year, go back to your standard deduction next year. Okay, that's a good tip. How about medical expenses? And how do health savings accounts or flexible spending accounts impact things? Well, HSAs can be great because individuals can put up to $5,500 away in a given year, and if you're over age 50, you get another $1,000 or a total of $6,500 a year. And if you don't use that money, what's going to happen is it's going to grow tax deferred, and that can also come out for medical expenses down the road tax free. Okay. So it can work out really well. Also, the deductions going in on every dollar that you put into it. Now, on an MSA, medical savings account you got to be careful because some of those when you put money in if you don't use it by the end of the year you lose it so I know oh, okay. a lot of it's hard to get in the doctor at the end of the year because everybody's trying to <laughs> everybody's do the same thing it, yeah. so you got to make sure you know that you know the difference between the two plans okay um, how else any other quick tips on saving taxes yeah what ends up happening is you know make sure you're taking advantage of everything you possibly can so whether it be itemizing putting money into the 401ks even for people that actually can't like contribute to a traditional IRA and tax deduct it they can actually put money in flip it over to a Roth IRA and then be able to have that grow tax deferred and totally come out tax free down the road okay how about retirement planning in addition to tax planning, this all sounds really complicated. There's all these details. You got some help for people? We do. So not only your show, which is great, but also we have an education program coming up. It's actually going to be at our office in Valley View, and it's free to your viewers. The first one's going to be on Tuesday, November 10th at 6 p.m. We also have one on Thursday, November 12th at 1 p.m. We encourage your viewers to call as soon as possible because they do get filled up fast. All right, good. So no matter how much time you have until retirement, it's time for your money to get growing. To learn more, attend one of the seminars Jim talked about, or give him a call. His number is next. For more information, call the Lineweaver Financial Group at 1-888-313-4009 or click to www.lineweaver.net.